I'm with Gadi Guayahu from Tagmea. Now, Gadi, what is Tagmea? Tagmea is a coalition of almost 50 organizations from uh, all over the Israeli spectrum. We have all kinds of, uh, of uh, Jews and not Jews, uh, Muslims and Arabs, uh, that fight together against uh, racism, hate crime, terror attack, price tag attack, anything, incitement, together. What does Tag Maya mean in Hebrew? In, in Hebrew, it means, it, it sounds like in Hebrew it's Tag Meir, bright light. Or instead of price tag with the, the people that are talking about revenge and bring darkness, we want to bring light. Now, now I've heard quite a lot about price tag. What exactly is price tag? Price tag is uh, actually revenge by the first time we heard about this term was in uh, 2009 when right-wing terrorist Jews burned a mosque mm. and the territory is in uh, Samaria, a village called uh, Yasuf. And they burned a mosque and wrote on the wall, Tag Mechir, price tag. So you, Palestinian, paid the price for something that happened to you by terror attacks that you create against us. Also, if the army did something to us, the government, yeah. you also paid the price for that. Is there a lot of hate and violence in the community at the moment? We're here in Israel yeah. all the time. <laughs> all the time, unfortunately. Just yesterday and today, look what's going on. Mm. A lot of hates and violence. Two settlers were killed in Khawara, which is a village in the West Bank, in Samaria. And as a result of that, a lot of violence by uh, terrorist the Jews this time. They attack uh, Khawara, burn uh, houses, cars, and also kill the uh, innocent uh, Palestinians. So it's violence on both sides? It's all, all the time violence by both sides. But this is, uh, we have a country, this is, we have a state, we have a, we were supposed to have an army and police to protect both Jews and uh, Palestinians. And uh, unfortunately, what happened last night and uh, today is that the army and the police and the security forces didn't do their job. What sort of programs do you do to help to combat hatred? The main thing that we are doing are solidarity visits. We try to be with the victims as soon as possible and not uh, just one day a visit, it's a long-term support. After the murder of the, the Wapsha family, for instance, we went to visit them and gave support to the Wapsha family, long-term support also to the Abu Khdir family, Yaakob Barabi. We have many, many uh, examples. We are going to visit, of course, Jews that were uh, killed. We don't distinguish between the victims and the, the, those that create the, the crimes. But, you know, to visit uh, your friend or someone that, he, that uh, your neighbor that uh, was a victim is not the same. Yes. The idea is to go to, to someone that is not your friend. Yes. He's, <laughs> he's a Palestinian. And when a uh, Palestinian will come to us and we will come to the Palestinian, maybe that will be the end of the conflict. It must be very difficult going into someone's house and family who have just lost someone through terror. Absolutely. Unfortunately, we started our forum 11 years ago, in uh, 2011, and uh, this is what we are doing. And we try to use this uh, horrible uh, event in order to create strong connections between uh, Palestinian and Israelis, between Muslim and Jews and, and Christians. Uh, don't forget that they attack also churches and monasteries. Yeah, very hard, but very important. Is your organization full of volunteers? And what sort of people volunteer in your organization? Yeah, we have like 500 volunteers all over the country, many WhatsApp groups. And whenever something happens in the north, we have uh, Tagmeir North. So the people in the north will go visit, or in the south, or Tel Aviv area, Jerusalem area. It's, it's a small country, but still, if something happens Friday afternoon, you, you want people to be there as soon as possible. So you send uh, people from the north, around 500 volunteers. So are these all Muslims, Christians and Jews? All over, all kinds. We also have Palestinian uh, volunteers 
and all over from all the spectrum like I mentioned uh, b- before and if, even uh, yesterday we have uh, we have people in the Hawara that uh, we came to visit them they were victims a few years ago and now they became volunteers so they send us pictures and, and talk to us and talk to the media very important so you have Palestinians and Jews working together absolutely yeah. We have Palestinians and Jews and Christians and Muslims and all working together. That must be really exciting to see that, is it? Yeah. Most of the, of the Palestinians and, and Jews between the river and the sea, Mediterranean Sea, most of them want peace. Mm. No one wants to be a victim, to be without a house or without a car or without a family. So it's very basic. And so I'm not surprised. But yes, working together. Tell us a bit about the flower distribution that you do. Flowers is, you know, it's very simple to buy flowers. <laughs> Everyone can buy flowers. They're very nice and cheap. And you use flowers a lot. Whenever someone sits in a hospital, you know, a bus driver can be a Arab bus driver. That uh, the, bus, the, the people on the bus didn't like the idea that uh, they have an Arab uh, bus driver. So they started to hit him, uh, curse him. And he found himself in a hospital, so we will come visit him with flowers or with chocolate. So, but on Jerusalem Day, which is a day that a lot of many uh, Israelis from the religious Zionist sector march with uh, Israeli flags, we decided to march with flowers, flowers of peace. We have a label on the, each flower, flower of peace in Arab, in, in English, and in Hebrew, and we spread them all over. You have to remember that 40% of the people that live in Jerusalem don't celebrate this day. It's not a happy day for them. Can you stop this hate and this violence? Yes. I mean, it's a marathon race. It's not a 100-meter race. You need a long time. You need a vision. And not to give up. There are bad days, like today and yesterday. But like I told you before, most of the people want to live in peace and quiet. And uh, look what's going on in, in hospitals in Israel. 30-40% of the people that work in, in hospitals are Muslims. And they work together. And you enter the hospital and you see all kinds of people. And you don't see knives and you don't see bombs. And uh, beautiful harmony. So if it can happen in hospitals, it can happen all over the country. Do you lobby the Knesset? Yeah, and unfortunately in the last few years we didn't have so much Knesset. <laughs> we had every six months we have another election. But yes. And now you've been recognized with awards. Tell us about some of the awards that you've won. Oh, awards. Awards are not so important. We are not working for awards. <laughs> but, but we had a few nice awards that we appreciate. It's nice just to be recognized though, is it? Yeah, yeah. Appreciate. We appreciate the words and the recognition. But the best recognition and words are just to see, like you mentioned, Palestinian and Israelis working together mm. for peace. That's the most important That's award. That's their word. Uh, do you do cleanup after a hate crime has happened? Tell us a bit more about that. Yes, usually the authorities are doing that immediately because they don't like to see any graffiti on the wall. But if something uh, happened. We have a few cases that we came in clean yes. cemeteries. We offer help. Sometimes they use our help. Sometimes they can uh, do it by themselves. Yeah. Are you optimistic about the future? Yeah, we are optimistic. I think that there are many countries that were... Yeah, if someone would uh, tell you in 1973 that Egypt and Israel one day will uh, sign a peace agreement, you would send them to a nuts house, 73. And uh, the same with Jordan and Israel. Even with uh, the Palestinian, you know, just recently, until recently, with uh, security forces of uh, Palestinian and, uh, and uh, Israeli army where uh, coordinate and work together. So it's a process. It's a process and uh, we don't have the privilege of, of giving up. What is your hope for the future? That we will, everyone will sit like you and me in a coffee shop in Jerusalem, drink nice coffee and like nothing happened yesterday in Hawara and and Hawara and uh, the killing of each other will never happen. What's your Facebook page for people who'd like to know more about the work that you do? Uh, Tag Meir, T-A-G-M-E-I-R. Okay, Gadi, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you.